Hi, I'm Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is another video in the series uh, showing you how to set up a Windows XP computer. And we've reached the point now where the computer is basically um, ready to be backed up. And the reason for making a backup like this, an image backup, is that you want to make sure you can restore the computer in the future fairly easily without having to go through a lengthy installation process. So I'm going to start up the computer using Norton Ghost. Um, that's a program that allows you to make these images. And I'm going to push F12 when I'm prompted to go to the boot menu. With um, Dell computers, as soon as you turn the computer on, you will see this message at the top corner, just briefly, that gives you an opportunity to bring up this boot menu. And you want to choose from that menu to boot to the CD drive. There are a few ways to use this software. Um, when you see this message, press a key. You want to press a key right away. I usually press the space bar. And then in this case I want to load the CD drivers. It's option number two and the contrast here makes it difficult to see that but there we go. Um, because in this first example I'm going to show you how to use Norton Ghost to back up a computer from the hard drive and burn it onto some CDs or DVDs in this case. You'll see a lot of error messages going by when you're using Norton Ghost, and it's because it's trying to install the drivers that are necessary for the computer, but likely uh, you know, most of those drivers aren't correct. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and type, um, well, C colon and enter. I want to get to the C drive, and then I'll type in CD space support. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is type in a command that will allow me to run Norton Ghost in a mode that causes it to back up the hard drive to CDs or DVDs. At this point, you want to type in ghost, and then a space, and then a hyphen, and then boot CD and then a space, and then a hyphen, ghost on CD, then a space, and then a hyphen Z2. And that's explained on the website, but I'll just go ahead and explain it here, is that this hyphen boot CD tells the ghost program that as you're backing up, you want to create a bootable CD. So later, when you want to restore your system, you can do that from the boot CD, which will be part of this set. This is usually very useful when working with clients um, when you want to give them a set of disks and say, hey, here are your disks. If you ever want to restore your computer, you can use these to do so. And then Ghost on CD, uh, it makes it a bootable Ghost CD that's also in this series of disks, probably you know three or four disks. Um, it's going to put the data and Ghost on there. And then Z2 just refers to the compression that's being used. So I'll press enter at this point, and now the program will start up, and it'll say that there's, a, if you've not used it before, it'll say there's a drive on the computer that hasn't been initialized or, um, you know, optimized for ghost use. So you just click OK, and then click OK again, and then here we're going to click on local. We're going to back up the disk to an image. So I'll click that. The disk that's getting backed up is highlighted as one. And then um, here it's asking where we want to back up to. So I'm going to choose from this list the top option. In this case it's a DVD writable drive. Then we need to give it a file name and I'm not going to bother putting in any file name. I'm going to use whatever it wants to use. And then at this point I'll go ahead and click Save. So the process begins here and now it says that about nine CDs or two DVDs will be needed to run this process. So I'll go ahead and um, click Yes and I'm in in the meantime, I'm getting my DVD ready here. It says spanning NTFS images on removal media may result in excessive media swaps. Um, you want to continue? Yes. 
and it says the disk is not blank. Well, that's because I still have my ghost disk in here, so I'm going to take that out and put in my DVD. Now keep in mind, particularly for an older computer, this is going to take a while. So here I'm putting that disk in, then I'll click retry. And sometimes you can get errors, which can be really frustrating. You'll get like 90% done, and there will be some error writing to your disk. Uh, and then you just have to start over again, possibly with maybe a different brand of media. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera at this point because, as I say, this process is very time-consuming. And um, when we get to the next step, I'll turn the video back on. Norton Ghost will give you an idea of how much time is remaining and it's pretty accurate. You notice it's climbing though. Initially it said it was going to take about 17 minutes and now we're up to 29 minutes, 30 minutes. So I anticipate that that's going to just keep going up. But it also gives us the uh, speed that we're operating at, about 210 megabytes per minute. And it shows you how many megabytes have been copied and how many megabytes are remaining. So this backup is going to be about 7.3 gigabytes. And at present, I don't have anything on the computer such as, you know, Open Office for word processing. I only have Windows XP Service Pack 3 with all of its updates and the drivers that are needed uh, for the audio and video and networking, and etc. So um, that and Adobe and iTunes and some other things. But basically, trying to keep this backup pretty clean, pretty slim. And then after this backup's done, we can add some other applications.